What? Folks, tomorrow let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. In the last episode, what did we do? Oh yeah, we dueled Jono, Tiana, some mage guy, and we found out where all this, where all the uh, shrines are. Anyway, so, I'm going to be doing some more grinding soon because the deck we've got just isn't going to cut it. So, I'm going to be taking on the best character in the game. So I'm going to go to the Meadow Shrine and take on this awesome guy. The Low Meadow Mage. Everyone loves this guy. Seriously. Who? You, Prince Mastereth. I'm amazed that you've made it this far. As you haven't actually done anything yet. What the hell? Too bad you'll never leave here alive. Alright, so this is Low Meadow Mage. Um, and yeah, Skull Servant. Crap card. No one cares about Skull Servant. Huh. <sighs> anyway. You do get Skull Servant decks, I think, you know. Uh, yeah, and they got things like King of the Skull Servants that has like a th gets like a thousand attacks for every Skull Servant in the graveyard, which by the way, there will be a load of them. Anyway, um, let's kick things off with... I don't know, I can't remember what... I can't remember if Meadow increases... No, it can't, it can't increase plants because Arlen Way hasn't got an increase. So yeah, this is Low Meta Mage, and all the mages will have their own advantage field, so do watch out for that. So they will automatically have the home advantage. Which means I took a very big risk in putting Thousand Dragon out on the field. Let's put Mountain now. Let's change the field to Mountain so we have the advantage. Alright, now we're a Mountain field. 2900 attack points for Thousand Dragon. And your Warrior of Tradition has back to 19, so that's good. Anyway, what he's going to do is he's going to change it to Sogan, which increase, puts, it, puts it back to Meadowfield. However, that means that we have a free turn to hit him. We have a free turn in which to strike. And Arlen Way might be useful later, so... I'm going to combine Goddess with the Third Eye to make Mystical Sand, so we have 2100 and 2400 attack points. So that's already half his life points gone. Mountain's a good thing to use, especially, you know, more, more often than not, the AI will automatically use the Sogan field to increase, to, to put them back on their level terms, which is good and all. Oh god, yeah, but he's attacking. Ah, Warrior Tradition, 2400. Crap. Right, to beat that, I'm going to need something like Twin of Thunder Dragon. Oh, look. <laughs> look what I've got here. Twin of Thunder Dragon. <laughs> Alright, that's Black Dragon Jungle King. Combine this, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Alright. So the War of Tradition is now officially going down. Bang. Right, you're gone. And... I think he'll only survive one more turn. I'm not gonna get a good... I'm not gonna get like an S power rank. I'm gonna make it an A. Possibly, but that's about it. Depends on what he does here. He's gonna defend. Okay, right. Might get a power rank here. Alright, could go Cybersaurus, can't bother, rather go Gerai Gumo. Because Gerai Gumo is cool. Alright, Flame Swordsman, uh, 2100 defense. Originally it only has 1600 defense and 1800 attack, but obviously Sogan Field increases its power. Anyway, we win! Disadvantageous fields, but we still won. And we get... Wretched Ghost of the Attic, which I'm sure is a crappy card. Yeah, it is crap. I think it's only got 550 attack. Master Ath, you'll regret this victory. You'll be facing the power of High, Na High Mage Kapura. No, you will not, because Kapura scares me. With the deck I've got, I do not want to be facing Kapura just yet. Anyway, let's go to the hiding card shop, which for some reason is up in the air. I have no clue about that. Hey, Melonhead! You're, ho you're okay as well. Nice. All right. So I'm going to return to title, and I'm going to be doing free dueling against mostly low meadow mage. Uh, but I'm also probably going to be going up against maybe some others, Jono second as well, probably. Maybe people like Isis and Pegasus as well. But for the moment, I'm going to be taking on mostly meadow mage and Jono second. Um, so yeah, montage!
And we are back! Ah oh, yes, it's actually been a week since I'd done the first part of part 9. The first little bit of part 9 where I fought low meta mage. Anyway, I've spent the week grinding. Ah oh, yes, grinding for good cards as you saw in the montage. Now, I have been grinding overall for nearly 50 hours. To be precise, 47 hours 44 minutes. Which is like 16 minutes shy of 2 days if I was to do it non-stop. So that just proves how much time and effort I've actually put into this game. So, yeah. Anyway, so, I'm going to be telling you guys what cards I got. Well, you obviously saw, but I'm going to be going through them and where I got them from. But first, let's see who uh, who I beat and whatever. Uh, I'll show you guys my entire deck at the start of the next episode. So, yeah, something to wait, something to look forward to, something to wait to. Anyway, so the first thing I did is that I tried to S Tech Shardy. Um, uh, S Teching uh, you can do by making your opponent run out of cards before you do. Uh, it's very difficult to do against some people, but with Shardy it's quite easy to do. You just need to play face down cards until he fuses, and then don't fuse ever. Do not fuse to get an S Tech rank. Anyway, so yeah, I tried to get Raigeki, which is. Um, I don't know if I've said it already, but it's a really good magic card. It's like Dark Hole, only it doesn't destroy your cards as well. It doesn't destroy your monsters and magic and trap cards. But it does destroy every monster on your opponent's side of the field. Really good card. Would have loved it to replace Dark Hole, but the, for the moment, I couldn't find it. I couldn't get it. Uh, which because I only dueled it four times. Anyway, uh, then uh, Pegasus. I lost five times, but I won 16 times. I tried S-Tech Pegasus for some... For some really good cards, things like Widespread Ruin and Bright Castle. And I did actually get a really, really good card from him. In fact, the best card you can get from Pegasus uh, by s teching him. Uh, which I'll show in the in the next episode. Uh, then uh, Jono Second, I lost to him twice, but I won 39 times. Uh, didn't really win anything from Jono Second. I think all I won was Axe Raiders. Which are alright, I guess, but they're not that good. Uh, and I was trying to get Realized Black Dragon, or to be precise, also Meteor Black Dragons. Uh, from Jono second, but didn't get it. I'm afraid that was they, it was tough. Um, we didn't get it. And lastly, Meadow Mage. I dueled him 238 times. I lost six times, but I dueled him 232 times, and he was the one who I got most of my good cards from. Uh, but we will run through exactly what cards they are in the next episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh for the Memories. Before we then go to the shrines and kick their ass. Anyway, I'll see you then. <laughs>